going out there earlier. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat. Everyone shouting, Rosetta in the highest. I wish I could say that we... This is like golden hour. Hey, hey, it's a new day and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would take you guys along on our evening. I'm just gonna pick up my camera, take you along, kind of show you what our evening routine has been lately in the winter time. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's not perfect. There's actually a lot of things I'm hoping to change here in the future, but I thought, you know what, there's nothing like a little honesty, a little, little real life um, to maybe we can all learn together, you know? I'm a mom of three, I live in Pennsylvania where it is cold this time of year, and our winter routines look so different than our summer routines. So I definitely have some thoughts on routines in general. I mean, I didn't even know eating routines were a thing before I started watching YouTube, but we all have them. Whether they're effective or efficient or whether we're happy with them or not, we have them. So I'm gonna show you mine, what we've been doing. This is very real life. And I wanna talk to you about a few ways I'd like to change our evening routine up. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. Honestly, the start of my evening routine is usually when my daughter gets home from school. She rides the bus a couple days a week and she goes to kindergarten. And so when she comes home, we always sit down on the floor, I don't know, in the middle of the kitchen. I don't know why, it's just been our thing. And she tells me all about school. She shows me her papers. She lights up, she loves it so much. And then she goes off and takes a nap while my other two are napping as well. She doesn't always sleep, but she has like some quiet time. Um, or if the neighbors are out, I will let her sometimes go out and play and just not even lay down at all. I kind of try to gauge. You can tell a lot in a little kid's eyes if they're, if they're drooping a little or not. And then since the kids are napping, that's when I try to get the bulk of my computer work done, my Instagram stuff, posting, editing, a lot of editing. Editing takes a lot of work, but I really do enjoy it. What? Is our name? Oh, somebody give you a little gift. Yeah. When I was lost and hopeless, when I was at my worst, it's grace that you extended. Did not deserve I am so amazed By all you have done I cannot explain The depth of your love Limits can't contain The heart of you God I'm amazed At the depth of your love Your mercy came and found your kids um, part of my morning routine is to always take my vitamins but half the time I forget and then when Ivani comes home from school she's like mommy I need my vitamins and then it reminds me oh yeah I need to take mine too so again that happened today um, these are hers but I take ritual postnatals I could just take their women's multivitamin but their postnatals actually have 15 key nutrients which is even better than their prenatal formula which has 12 key nutrients you guys know that after a baby your body really takes a beating I mean it is quite a miracle if you think about what it goes through so I try to get nutrients in through what I eat but also through the vitamins that I take which ritual is super super transparent which I love because quack oil is a thing people can just put random stuff together and call it vitamins and that's not necessarily true but if you go on their website you can trace where they get all their nutrients from and also importantly they come right to my door I don't have to you know make a special trip when you run out and wait for the next grocery trip or anything like that you always have your next bottle sitting there waiting for you so I just take two capsules a day these smell like mint because there's like a mint tablet in there 
So it is February and I know probably some of you set some health goals for the new year. So take advantage now of my offer, which is going to get you 20% off of your first month with Ritual. They have men's, women's, prenatal, postnatal, teen, 50 plus. They have you all covered. Um, so check that out down below. Use my code. It lets them know that I sent you there. They use 100% recycled materials. They are vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten free, allergen free, and they contain no added sugars. This is something that's been a part of my routine for the last like four years. Okay, this next part of my evening routine is probably one of my favorites. I'm going on a walk. Usually when Josh gets home from work, there's just enough daylight left in the day. If I'm lucky to get in a quick walk, I would love to run, but I found that I just find so many different excuses to not go. You know, I have to change after I get back or else beforehand. When you go on a walk, you can just keep on whatever you were, you know, momming in for the day and just throw on a coat and get out the door. There's really no resistance. Like it, it has to happen unless it's raining, but you can still go on a walk then too, but I like to kind of romanticize my walk. I'll put on some good like chapstick and wear a fun beanie or I have these, <laughs> so fun. And I will listen to a podcast potentially or sometimes nothing at all. Sometimes I let my daughter go along with me if she's awake or if she wants to, but a lot of the time it's just like me time and I look so forward to it. Um, I know you might be thinking, Megan, you just had me time, your kids are napping, uh, but that was like work. You know, I'm on my laptop, I'm busy. My brain is definitely not turned off. But I'm gonna be a little nondescript here, but I usually just walk, although I don't get to live in like deep farmland, we do have like farmland around where I can walk or also like different developments and stuff if I want to. So it never gets boring. And uh, we have a mini golden doodle, so she loves to go along as well. And I let her sniff around. I don't know if I would say it's fun. It is fun for me, but it's, it's more like relaxing and, and just kind of like a reset. Okay, work time's over. Now it's like supper and family time. And I don't know, that whole mental shift just helps me out a lot. And this is definitely not how our summer routine goes at all, but I found when I was like really starving for like even just going on a walk throughout the day was hard to do. Um, with a little baby back when Miller was smaller, I found that, you know what, I can at least go on a walk, you know, with my husband's schedule. I'm blessed enough to be able to go on a walk quickly before it gets dark. So I usually go for like anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. It's not going to be long tonight. It was snowing out there earlier, so it's very cold, but we'll keep it moving. Okay, then for supper time, honestly, I do not do a lot of work at all at supper time. I do enjoy cooking, but supper is not really the time to do it. I usually do the bulk of my preparation ahead of time, usually at lunch when there's already like dishes out and things like that. So I do have some corn in my little Dutch oven there. It is just thawing out. Last night we had pulled pork, and so I like to do a lot of what I call meat repurposing. I'll make enough meat for at least two meals, and sometimes we'll eat that exact same meal again, especially with like burgers and things like that. Or with like chicken or pork, it's super easy to take that same meat. This is just pulled pork here, and I'm gonna actually turn it into quesadillas for supper tonight. So super quick, super easy, um, and then just some corn in the kettle. But yeah, I highly recommend if you feel like your evenings are a little rushed or busy, be proactive and kind of cook once, eat twice type of a mentality. And my family is really good about not getting tired of eating something over and over a couple times because I try to make foods that they look forward to and they're actually excited about. This works great with soups as well. Cook once, eat twice, even three times maybe if you're making a really big batch. So the kids will help set the table, get their water cups. That's another thing we do. We all just keep our own water bottle throughout the day. The kids each have their own and me as well. And then Josh will get a glass of water when he comes home from work usually. And then I just transfer that over the, to the table. So cups is pretty much a non-issue. And we drink water for our meals 100% of the time, I would say. By the way, I'm just like telling you what we do. I'm not in any way implying that these this is the right thing to do or anything like, there's no right evening routine. Um, but I thought it's kind of fun, fascinating, interesting to hear how other people do things because I know other people who sit down for a big glass of milk every supper time, you know? Um, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat or whatever that quote is. <laughs>
Josh, are you gonna show people how to make a quesadilla? Sure, yep. <laughs> so first, a little sour cream on there. Next, we go lettuce. Just have a little lettuce on there. And then, just do a little bit of salsa on there. There's a little bit on the top. Probably should have done this before the lettuce, but whatever. Yum. Anyway, feeding four hungry mouths plus your own is like a dedicated task, so I'm gonna put the camera down. But something else that is really good with pork is to do like barbecue sauce version. That's that's really good. Just like the providing force. We can look at this food. Let's have a fun evening together and a good night's rest tonight. Just name me a minute. story about the king on a donkey? Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to read about. Okay. Who's the king, Fletcher? Do you Fletcher. have a guess? Who do you think is the king? We can't see the king as the crown. Who do you think the king is that's riding the donkey? Who is that? God? Well, not God, but Jesus and his disciples walked toward a big city of Jerusalem. So, what did the people do as Jesus rode the donkey? Um, praise God. Yeah, but what did they do? Uh, Why was he sad? Because the Pharisees didn't believe uh, him. Yeah, that's right. The people didn't believe him. Like the, 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 the some people are like. Looking for his toy duck. Come here, duck says Dad. So after supper, Josh always reads a Bible story with the kids while I kind of clean up and kind of listen in and talk with them. It's nice to multitask, and yeah, I usually have supper halfway cleaned up till they're done with the story. And the kids also help clear the table. That's the chore that we've been working on. I load the dishwasher, or Josh will do that sometimes. And tonight he started a fire, it's so cozy and beautiful. And Ivani was able to read her words in front of the fire, so yeah, super cozy. Also mama, mama, what? Did you like the story? Mm -hmm. What does the horse say? Yeah? Yeah, what's the puppy say? Are you showing off? Usually when Josh comes home from work, we'll talk to each other, figure out who has what on deck for the evening. I wish I could say that we just sit around and have family time in the evenings. It's not at that point yet. I'll just look at my planner and see if there's any tasks that um, didn't get done earlier in the day. There always is. By the way, my planners are back in stock. Again, don't worry, they're undated, so it's not like you missed a month or two. Um, they're very simple, but also very effective. I have been loving using mine for the last, oh my, I've been working on this project for a while, and you guys have sold me out several times. I will put the link for these down below, and a lot of you are loving them as much as I am, so that that makes me really happy. <laughs> Tonight he is gonna hang some curtains in our bedroom and then do book work in the basement. The kids do really good at playing down there in the basement. Um, Josh kind of supervises them because I usually have work to do too yet. Tonight on my list is just to bake some banana bread, um, which I find fun. It's like relaxing. I saved it for this evening because it's like a good wind down thing and I enjoy it. Um, it'll make the house a little warm with the oven going and everything. I don't know. I'm excited about it. I will put the link down below. It is one of my hit recipes. It takes a cake mix and pudding mix, so it's definitely on the cake side of banana bread, um, so eat it sparingly. I'm actually baking the banana bread because we have furniture movers coming this week to help set up our bedroom. I'm so excited for that project. That's the next video coming out. So anyway, I just wanted to have a little snack ready for them, so I will link that recipe down below.
Okay, it is about to be bath time for the kids, which you won't see, but I did want to mention one of our favorite products right now has been, actually it was Christmas presents, but if you're looking for a birthday present, this might be just the thing. I got a set of like eight of these little animals. This is like a peach one. They're very brightly colored. This is a white one. Sadly, the white and the peach one are the only ones that are left because, you know, they pick the bright colors first, but they're really fun because they dissolve and then inside is a special little keychain and they just have so much fun seeing what treasure is inside for them. So I'll link them below, but it's so nice. Ivani can bath or shower herself. I just help with her hair and then the two little boys do it together. Right now, the baby is scared of the bathtub. I don't know why. Um, I think maybe one time the water was too cold or something. I don't know, but we always have to like work him through it at first. So he realizes, oh yeah, this is fun. I forget. I don't know. Never had a kid like that before. Hopefully he likes to swim and all that. I don't know. It's probably just a little phase. That's what I'm telling myself. Kid, kids are allowed to go through phases, right? Okay, so it is 8.14 and the baby's in bed and my kindergartner is in bed as well. Um, I like to put them better, to bed around eight o'clock and then Fletcher will take a bath and go to bed a little bit later. Um, Ivani gets up at 7.10 to go to school at the very latest. But I just wanted to talk night routines in general and a little bit about mine and some things I'm hoping to change. It's so funny, like when I started YouTube, watching YouTube, I didn't even know like night routines were a thing, but like I said, we all have one and it might not feel like we have one maybe, in t but if you had to film an evening, what would a typical evening look like for you? I feel like in the summer we're going, going, going all the time, but in the winter, a night at home is not unusual. Now, tomorrow night, my brother-in-law is coming to help us move some furniture. The next night we have rehearsal for the wedding coming up this week. Yeah, just a lot of different things. And then Friday night we'll be home, but Saturday, Sunday we'll be away again. So this is just like a typical evening at home, which I would say in the winter time, it's pretty much four out of seven nights of the week. I will say I'm not 100% happy with our evenings. I don't feel like we should have to get so much done in the evenings. I feel like it should be more relaxing, you know, read a book, things like that. Um, but there's always just overflow from the day that needs to get done. I, it's the life we choose, I guess. But I have been thinking about creative ways to maybe whittle some things down so that we can have some more time at home. Like Josh is really busy too. He's been downstairs working for an hour and a half. Even though we do have an accountant who helps us out, there's a lot on his shoulders with that. <sighs> yeah, I wish it was a little different, but I will say, so it's 8.15, I'm gonna put Fletcher to bed in about 15 minutes and then it is my time. So I know I don't really get to sit down at all throughout the day, but after the kids go to bed, it's golden hour, honestly, for, yeah, I'll show you what I do then. But I wanted to take the camera quickly here and show you what I leave my house like when I go to bed. Maybe this will make you feel a little bit better about yourself, I don't know, but I am not one of those people that goes to bed with my house completely all picked up. Today actually looks decent, which you might argue with me, but. Fire is dwindling down, I'll turn the lights off. It looks like there's some stuff there in the laundry room. Oh, here's Bonnie's keychain. And I couldn't put the dishes on the dishwasher because it is running, so I'll load that again in the morning. Over here in the toy room, there is just a few toys that should be picked up. I should probably get Fletcher to do that before bed, but to be honest, it might not happen. Ivani was listening to a story, so that whole area is not really cleaned up. The office, it's not too bad. I'm not gonna put that to bed or anything. Honestly, when the kids go to bed, I'm, I'm just ready for it too. <laughs> I don't know, there are definitely different types of people in this world. I am one of those people that is not a night owl. I would rather get up in the morning and have some simple, easy, mindless tasks to work on, like tidying up the house or things like that. I know it's backwards for a lot of people. They don't wanna wake up and have all the clutter to look at, you know. I will, I need to do that now, start my Robo Rock to clean the kitchen floor. Um, so that'll be done when I wake up in the morning. But I don't mind, you know, just having a few things to do in the morning before I get done with like the tasks for the day. It does bother me, sure. I would love to have everything put away and there's been seasons in my life where I prioritized that and really tried to get everything, you know, back to its reset original, how it should be before I go to bed. But to be honest, it's not been that way. That's the ideal, that's the ideal Megan, but it's not the reality Megan right now. And I have no excuse for it, I really should, but it is what it is. I guess we all make choices, right? The banana bread has about 15 minutes left on the timer, so perfect timing. Guys, here's your reminder to change your lock screen on your phone. <laughs> this is a recent picture we took in Florida, and it just makes me so happy whenever I see it. Good memories, good times, I love the coloring, so yeah, it's fun to switch it up, and I, I really don't that often. Okay, 
we're in the bathroom up here pardon the echo this is my favorite time of day okay there's several different favorite times like when bonnie gets off the bus when josh comes home from work hugging miller after his nap teaching fletcher new letters you know all the things but you know what i mean this is like golden hour for me so i recently got my new bathroom so i get to like pamper myself in the evenings but there's a couple things i do first of all my essentials for an evening i love this um velvet headband that my friend got me for my birthday um i don't know i just i usually sleep with my hair just everywhere um i feel like that's better for it i don't know it's up all day so why not change it up i guess um, and it's just, it's feminine, it's pretty, and I don't know, I like it. I don't sleep with it on or anything, but just to keep my hair out of my face. Or I'll use like a flippy claw clip, you know, style hairdo when I'm like on my phone or whatever. Also, I use this serum from Peach and Lily every evening. It feels so good on your face, and it's not, I don't know, putting like skin cream on is always like cold and kind of jarring. With this serum, it, it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels like skin temperature for some reason, and I love that. Also, I got this fuzzy robe from my family for Christmas, and I'm a robe girl. I have several different robes, but I never had a plush terry cloth one before, or fleece or whatever this is. It is so cozy. I get out of the shower, towel off really quickly, and then I will put this on. It is, I, I can't even describe it. So get yourself, I'll link the one I have here, but I'm sure there's lots of different brands that work. I just got the white because it looks nice on the bathroom door or whatever and it feels very like luxurious and hotel like <laughs> also my phone is another essential i'm not going to apologize for this it seems a little weird but shower time is my tv time youtube time vegging time i don't know i will just sit my phone here on the ledge and i will watch my youtube videos that i need to watch you know sometimes i'll listen to youtube videos while i'm working or something podcast type episodes and things like that but shower time is when i will like watch a show or my favorite youtube channels things like that i josh made so much fun of me when he saw me using my phone in the shower like what four years ago but now he does it too guys it's 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 weird i i acknowledge that but it's perfect because i don't really want my kids to see me on my screen i mean they know they know what a phone does and all that but I, they don't i don't want to be on my screen when they're around you know so it's like guilt-free time to myself and it's just a fun way to unwind so that's what i do i made a recent reel on instagram that talked about how much i love shower time in the evenings but i didn't fully disclose why so there you go just another reason that i enjoy my shower in the evenings so by the time i'm done with my shower it's usually like 9 9 15 this is on a night where I don't do any computer work after the kids go to bed. That does happen sometimes. But then I will just sit on my phone and answer DMs, maybe answer comments from a recent post, um, business stuff, work, back-end things that I might have neglected throughout the day. Um, I'll do my Wordle for the day if I'd forgotten to do it in the morning. Um, just random things like that. And then I will sometimes go on Instagram Reels. I rarely do that because it's very, um, what's the word? Like you have to be involved. You have to be swiping. Whereas like a YouTube video, you can kind of just have it playing in the background or something. So if I am going to watch any Instagram reels, it's in the evenings. And to be honest, I'm usually watching them just to collect sounds because I am a content creator as well. So it's kind of like research. So that sounds like a lot of businessy stuff in bed. Again, I acknowledge my evening routine is not perfect, um, but it's just what I've been doing lately and it's working, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm happy that my you know, I'm not on my phone around my kids very much at all while they're awake, um, but I do get that extra time in the evening while they're still sleeping. So that's my evening routine. Pick maybe one thing that you thought might be a good idea for you and try that. Let me know down below something that has been life-changing for you with your evening routine. But yeah, it's just fascinating. I love to see how other people live their lives, especially in these like more bleak winter months. And you know what? They don't have to be bleak. They can be cozy that's the word we'll use oh one more thing this is a sunset lamp it came in a random pr box or whatever but i love it it gives like this warm glow and it's just like a way to like kind of wind down um just have that going and i would love to show you my room but i can't it's not completely done yet um tomorrow they're actually coming to stage it all and then yeah it'll be time for the grand reveal so come back for that video check out ritual for your 20 percent off of your first month and i will see you all in the next video bye everyone Thank <laughs> you.